right, man. So you had the Earl Spence fans, you know, going around. It was yippity doo. You know, these videos coming up on my homepage on YouTube. Well, you know, Earl or my Google Home 2 articles. Well, you know, Crawford beat Earl, but Earl still muscles by Crawford and for the big fight. And everybody was believing what they were selling when Fondora and, 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 and Earl Spence started taking pictures and teasing at each other like they was going to the prom, to a non-binary prom together and shit like that. And then Bud broke all that shit up. Like we already knew if you follow boxing, you've seen Earl sexuals you never seen. My thing is this, even if it did happen, what make you think he was going to be Sebastian fucking Fondora? That's my thing. What made y'all think he was going to be Sebastian Fondora? And I mean, somebody, I think Henry was saying, we was live on Wednesday, he was saying, well, you know, um, you know, Fondora couldn't do nothing with Tim Zhu, and he had him, you know, he had a blind fighter, and I understand that Earl Spence ain't got no hook like Tim Zhu. <laughs> Let me say that once again. Earl Spence ain't got no hook like Tim Zhu. That right hook, you know, Tim Zoo was going around the guard. That left hook Tim Zoo was throwing, I was like, he ain't got no hook. No, nah, it ain't. He ain't had no hook. He don't have no. No, nah, he ain't got no hook. The way Tim Zoo defense was and the way he was, you know, he was setting up uh, 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 Sebastian for Errol Spence don't do that. Then when he started moving his head off the line, Errol Spence don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, you know, Earl, Earl going, I don't even know if it's for sure Terrence Crawford going to be Sebastian Fardor. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's a story for another day, but he going to have to use a lot of lateral movement. At what, 36, 37 years old, if they do fight this year, which they won't, that's a lot of lateral movement he going to have to use. And I think Bud is going to use a lot of movement Stab jab to the body. He gonna try to come over the top with a right hand, or, or over overhand right. That's what I think he gonna do. I think it's kind of gonna kind of somewhat of what you know Mayweather tried to do with uh, Diego Corrales. You know, or he just may do the Sugar Ray Leonard if it ain't working, and just start walking that motherfucker down, and start breaking him down to the body. And just start walking him down. But then we know Sugar Ray Leonard got his eye messed up that way with Tommy Hearns. So, but like I said before, to me, it ain't no giving on either end. You know, I think Earl got the perfect, how Earl got the perfect style? He don't know how to move his head. Matter of fact, the bitch ain't got a trainer. Y'all just forgot what just happened to him? Do y'all forget what just happened to him? Y'all sure he can take a shot? The boy big as hell, too. <clears throat> At least Fondora can say, I fought this year. What, what he going to do with his jab versus Fondora? He don't get his head off the line. You know what I'm saying? He don't throw a really good looping shot. He had Crawford with a couple good looping shots. I give him that. That was the one adjustment they did do is try to throw a looping shot because they seen Crawford have some issues with that versus Felix Diaz and a couple other opponents. <laughs> you know? So, that was a little adjustment that he threw, but he ain't got that hook that Tim Zoo got. Now I'm looking at the matchup. How he gonna get past the stick? No diddy. Pause. You know what I'm saying? What, what is he gonna do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What is he going to do? He don't move his head off the line. And then you don't even know if he can take the punishment on, on his face. You don't even know if he's going to make it through camp. You don't even know if the dude going to make it through camp. Last time he made, he did a whole ass move and tried to fight Pacquiao. What happened? Motherfucker, I fell out his head. Then, according to the last camp, he had a rib injury. Look at Keith Thurman coming off an injury. A chunk of his forehead missing, his arm in the sling. These niggas is done, bruh. It's time to pass the torch. What was the genius song? Jizza? Pass the bone. Pass the bone. Pass the torch. It's over with for these old niggas, man. These old PBC, it's over with for them, bruh.
He ain't got the sauce to get on his toes and use angles to break down fine door. He can't even do what Tim Zhu do. He don't have a hook. I keep telling niggas that shit. He don't got defense. He don't got a hook. He don't move his head. So how is he going to get under Fondor? What is he going to do? He ain't in no physical shape. He don't got no coach. Don't want to pay a coach. If he had a hook, it'd be different. Fond Tim Zoo got a natural hook. Earl Spence doing straight shots. So for him to get them straight shots off, he going to have to take chances and move forward. And we seen, even before he fought Crawford, he don't get that head off the line. I kept telling oh, Earl's good on the inside. No, he not. Anybody that get on the inside and stand straight up with their chin up in the air on the inside is trash. And he tried that shit with Terrence Crawford and got and got smoked. Anybody could have seen that shit coming. He on the inside with Sean Porter with his all his, his, his chin over his front leg, punching like this, not defending himself. Bruh, I... That ain't nothing that you can learn in the camp, dude. That's why Ugas caught, caught his ass, throwing punches and squaring up. Square up against Fondora, a 6'6 dude, the way he squares. He's going to get slapped. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all. And then you don't have a tune-up behind that? Come on. You don't know how to slip the jab? Fondora going to throw a jab to take away your jab. Now Fondora... Maybe he start closing the gap and giving Earl some chances by walking Earl back and getting walking Earl down, and he get Earl some chances to land some shots. That's the only way he gonna win. If Fondor start giving up his height and walking into straight lefts and one twos, but if Fondor use that jab, even in that manner, if it become a fight of attrition, where Earl Spence body hold up is the question. By the time they fight, if let's say they do fight next, that's, big, that's a year since he's been in the ring. He's still going to train in Dallas. He's still got a bunch of bad habits. You don't need, after all that money he made, is he really hungry to get back into the ring? Like, come on, man. It's a reason why he squoles down the world to wait. It's a bad matchup once again. And I could be wrong. I ain't saying this the end all be all. Your boy could be wrong. Wrong as Lizzo wearing the thong. I could be wrong. And I'm pretty much willing to come on here and admit, excuse me, admit when I'm wrong. Cool. If I'm wrong, hey, he go in there and whoop on Fondora. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. But like I told y'all about Tim Zoo and Sebastian Fondora and Joseph Parker and Zang. See, I don't really watch a lot of boxing no more, but I know styles. My boy ODB say Styles Unbreakable, Shatterproof, to the young youth. You want to get good? Shoot. Bow. How you like me now? Be telling y'all, bro. I know Styles. And that's a bad style for you. He can't do what Tim Zoo did, was doing in the beginning, because he don't got a fucking hook. <laughs> Come on, man. And if he jab his way on in, he don't get his head off the line. This nigga target practice, bro. Fondora should have that nigga out of there by the sixth round if we being real. The boy ain't in shape. He ain't living right. Boy, lips blacker, blacker than Uncle Elroy's off next Friday. Come on. Be trying to tell y'all, bro. Be trying to tell y'all. But y'all believe what y'all want to believe. But if you fighting a long guy like that, then you gotta get off off the line. You know, or you gonna get on the inside and operate. He can't fight on the inside. I was the first person saying that shit. I seen him fight Sean Porter and they fight on the inside. He's standing straight up like this. Sean Porter should whoop. Sean Porter need his ass whooped for losing that fight. Sean Porter truly need his ass whooped. Kenny need to take his belt off. You fighting the guy on the inside, he's he punching like this with his all his weight. 
Sean Paul to step over, take that angle, rip that hook, come back with that other right hand, you know, that right hand. Oh, and he supposed to be scoring on Spence ass, boy. Spence is so piss poor on the inside, man, it don't make no fun, no sense. Sebastian Fondora would have to literally bend over and give Errol Spence that fight. No Al Heyman, no Diddy, pause. <laughs> he would literally have to give him that fight. By literally walking him down, just looking to knock him out and giving Earl a target. He would literally have to. And then in, in that scenario, he still can knock him out and win. So people act like oh, Earl and Crawford just going to run through Fondora. I'm not so sure about that. Then you win a title, your confidence go up. But what Tim Zhu did, that's Tim Zhu. These niggas ain't Tim Zhu. I ain't saying they not better or worse. But styles make fights. And I'm telling y'all. Fondora, all bad for Errol Spence, bro. It's not a good fight to come back against. You said, well, Fondora got knocked out Earl. Earl got beat down, beat the fuck up. And had the referee, I think it was Harvey Doc, not saved him, that motherfucker be eating his Gatorade through a straw. He be smoking his marijuana allegedly through a straw. Whatever you do. All that yak and Hennessy, he kissing on his boys up in the club and trying to lay a kiss on Yellow Beezy and all that shit, man. He be, he be kissing them niggas through the kiss me through the phone. Hit me up when you get home. All ass niggas, man. Come on. But hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. The link tree from your X, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.